What's up, Bear Cooled Army? It's your friend Pete here today talking about axles on pre 68 Beetles and Gias. Kind of want to get the info out there about the difference of a short axle, long axle application, the lengths, and just kind of put it on video for everybody to know and understand to kind of get a visual of uh, what they have. Uh, and if they don't know what they have, how to measure and how to find out. So short axles normally on US spec models uh, are the same from uh, 49 to 1965 uh, Beetles. That would be this short axle uh, tube. Also this short axle configuration. The one key uh, element in finding out if this is a short axle uh, setup is by measuring uh, the bearing housing. And this bearing housing measures 3 and 7 sixteenths from flat edge to where the spring plate is, or uh, 87 millimeters. The actual axle length from end to end is 26 and 5 eighths. And the actual spline length from edge to edge is just over two inches. In 66 and 67, they came out with a configuration called a long axle short spline. So it would be the same, uh, same length of spline here of the two inches on each of them, but the axle is actually longer in total length. And so, by understanding that, you could look at the drum and see if it kind of pooches out a lot. That would be an uh, even later model. We'll talk about that in a second. But the bearing housing itself is four and five eighths or 117 millimeters. So that's from where the spring plate touches to where your backing plate touches. That's how we can tell if it's a long axle configuration. Now the difference between a long axle, which measures just under 27 and 7 eighths, is 28 and, excuse me, 27 and 7 eighths, and 28 and 3 eighths. But it's, you, you really wouldn't see that visually, it would be the amount of Spline length that is showing. So from in millimeters, we're looking at 53 millimeters of spline on the short spline application, and let's see here, 68 millimeters in spline length on the 68 only long axle, uh, as well as GIA configuration, Type 3 configuration, um, not exact on the when type 3 is changed uh, I'm pretty sure it's 68 non uh, auto stick but I'll put all the information in the description below to kind of find out uh, where where and what you have so the difference short axle tubes long axle tubes I just I've kind of squared these up to kind of show you the difference we're talking about 32 millimeters in difference or in inches, we're about an inch and three sixteenths, roughly, measurements from short axle to long axle. Why do we need to know this? Well, we really like cater or figure out how to make it as easy as possible on how to put certain wheels on your car, how to, to purchase the right brakes uh, for your car. And if you don't know this information, Basically, you're going to buy things two and three times. I don't want you to do that. I want you to buy it once. So, short axle, measure your distance from your spring plate to your backing plate on a short axle is three and seven sixteenths. On a long axle, it's going to be four and five eighths. First thing you can look at. Then you have the spline length. In, in inches, we did millimeters in inches, it's two inches in spline length compared to two and three quarters in spline length in inches. That is the difference between axles 
from 49 to 68 type one, short axle, 49 to 65, long axle short spline, 66 and 67, 68 long axle, long spline, one year only type one US spec. Um, it's all the eye test. What do you see? Need these measurements. I'll put them down here at the screen, at the bottom of the screen to kind of um, emphasize the, the lengths as this video is going so that we put out the right information. Um, I have been gathering information from UK spec, Australia spec, uh, Brazil spec. Uh, I'll put that information as well in the description below. Um, and if you have information um, as far as year ranges that you want to add, kind of like a Wikipedia, but for axle knowledge, uh, comment below or send me an email, uh, info at ericgould.com, uh, and uh, we can add it to this and kind of make more of a, uh, a broader range of axle identification. Um, and that's it. If you have questions, please. Uh, comment below if you have uh, comments also down below uh, if you found this information useful click the like button consider subscribing um, and we'll get on to the next one we appreciate you watching it means a lot to us it helps the channel grow until next time take care Hey guys, I want to tell you about the promotion. We're continuing in 2021 and that's giving away one of these Ultima Beams to one of our subscribers who likes and comments on our videos. Uh, once we hit 10K, uh, we're at this number right here right now. Uh, once we're at 10K, then we're going to randomly select a, a subscriber and make sure they've commented on one of the videos and we're going to give it away. For your type 1 beetle, Gia, type 3 thing, uh, that's what we're going to do. One of those bad boys right there. And you could be it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Now back to the film.